Hey, Thomas Tapp here. In this video, I have an awesome move to show you and teach you. It's called the butterfly kick or the B kick. And this move is used a lot and you've probably seen it in martial arts films or tricking. It's one of those basic fundamental moves for learning your basic acro and tricking. So I'd recommend this for anyone who wants to get into tricking. If you're looking at doing some kung fu or you know acrobatic type kung fu movements, this is a great one for that. It's also a great one for those of us just beginning because it's a simple move to train. It's very safe to practice and it's a great prerequisite for a lot of advanced flips. For example, the B twist, also setting up for your Webster side flips, your aerials. So this is a great move to get down solid because it's one of those fundamental moves for advancing into other flips and things like that. All right, let's break down the technique. Now the butterfly kick is a very simple move and it looks very simple, but there's a lot of things going on here. So first I just want to show you the basically the overview of what your body is doing through the knee kick and how you create that, that kick or that look. So you're starting off in this position, your feet are a little bit wider and shoulder width. You're generating the momentum uh, with the arms and the upper body and the legs all in coordination. So your upper body and your back and your legs and your arms all have to be coordinated. And one thing to think about is your back is staying straight the entire time. So when you're bending down for the jump, your back needs to be straight. And this comes with having flexible hamstrings and things like this. It's gonna be a lot easier if you have your back straight because you'll see you turn from here and you go into that kick. To make the kick look good, you want a nice horizontal body and legs. If your back is already in that position, when you jump up, all you have to do is lift your legs up and you're there. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, the, the motion that we're going through. With the upper body and the arms, this is very key that we go through a specific motion. So I like to go towards my left side and spin this direction. So when I start off, I'm gonna put my arms and my upper body facing to the right side. I'm gonna dip down, creating, it's like a U shape. So it's like here, U, because you're dipping to drive that momentum and to start up for the jump and then you're gonna lift up on the upswing of that U. But we're gonna go down, go into that U, and this is probably the, one of the most important things is you want to turn your head and your upper body towards your back, or if you're starting here, you wanna look towards that direction. Because this is what's gonna set you up for that B kick, because you wanna kick your opponent who's in front of you, so you need your upper body and arms to face back here so that we can get the kick and turn and land. That's the basic setup for the B kick. So now you know that, let's break down the technique into steps. First is the start up. Second is gonna be the jump, and then third is gonna be the landing. So with the start up, we wanna generate a lot of momentum. So we're gonna turn to our right side to wind up for that jump. We're also gonna put our arms out so we can use this as swing to swing and help dip our body. Now we're going to be in a forward stance on the first one. So this is taken from Kung Fu. With the forward stance, our feet are a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. If this is the, like let's say this is the straight line we're on. With the forward stance, you want to angle your feet at about a 45 degree angle here. So that way, we're in a nice forward stance. I use the Kung Fu stances to go in and out of this because I think it looks, looks better. It's also really effective and efficient. It's simple, and I just really enjoy this type of technique with it. So what we're going to do is be in our forward stance. We're going to have a straight line basically from our back leg, this is my left leg, all the way through our back here. So that way you have this set up here. And you're going to have the front leg bent here. Then what we're going to do is, now we have the startup, we're going to go into our jump. This is where we keep our back straight, we dip down, starting off that U position, that U shape we're gonna make. We dip down, keeping the back straight, and this is where our legs pivot to a horse stance. Now the whole entire time we're pivoting, you're gonna be pivoting a lot with this back leg, because this is the one you're gonna jump off of. So you're gonna be turning, and you wanna be on the balls of the feet here, or the toes, into that horse stance, starting that U. Then from here, we're gonna keep on rotating and pivoting on this foot to here. 
So here and up. So you see that's creating that U shape here and up. And that's where you generate the jump. Now with the jump, it's super important that we lift with our chest and our back leg at the same time. So you'll see, if you watch this foot here, because a lot of it's going to be pivoting there, I'm turning, and now we're ready to jump. So if you look at my body here, my back and my back leg is still straight. You still have this nice line going. The arms are here. And what we're going to do to create that jump is we're going to jump off the left leg while lifting the back leg up and the chest. So you have all this going on right here. This is what's going to lift you up and elevate you into that good butterfly kick. So here, so your arms, your chest, and this back leg, and the lift of this leg is going to lift you up and create that horizontal feature. So that's the jump. Then we go into the landing step. So after we do the jump, again, we're looking towards our back here. Looking and moving our arms towards the back here. So our legs are going to go up in the air and go across. Okay? So the leg that we used, this back leg, to help lift with the jump is going to be the first foot that lands. So it's going to carry over. It's going to land. You're basically going to land in this position here. And then you're going to turn, pivot on that foot so you can face the direction that you started. And then to land it really nicely, we want to land preferably in a stance. So I'll show you a quick demonstration. So that way you have a good landing here. So you're back into your forward stance. And if you want to go back the other direction, you can do that. So that's why I use these stances. If you use the forward stance, to horse stance, to forward stance, up. You can land back in the forward stance, do some punches, swing back, do a punch, and then you're back into your fighting. It's just a lot cleaner. It's also very good to have good landing techniques so that way we have full control of our body. Now, another thing I just want to point out is a lot of people have trouble getting into the position because of their pivoting foot. So what you can do here is just either pivot on the toe here and turn so that lift off, or you can even take a step. Some, sometimes I'll step into it. That's just something to think about. So that's the basic technique. Remember, start off in that forward stance, generate the momentum with the arms, dip down, creating that U shape, go through the horse stance, keep the back straight, lift up, jump as you're looking in this direction, kick the legs over, and land in that stance. Now, to really add, extra style and to have it look really good and if we're using it for practice um, when we're doing the B kick think about pointing your toes so that way you have a nice look here also so you want to look up so if you're doing a kick say you're kicking someone here with it you want to be able to look at any other opponents over here so if you see I'll look up to face you here. You're able to really see it also creates this really nice shape with your body. That's just something to look into after you start getting the technique. So that's the technique. Now it can be tricky just to go out and do this. So let's break down some gradual progression steps to help with this. One easy thing to use is let's say you have a wall or a ledge that you can use. It's about waist height. Great tool to use to really start getting your form. Basically, you start the same thing, do the same technique, but instead of just jumping, you're going to place your hands here to help lift up your body. So that way, you're nice and safe. So here, I'll do it again. So turn over. Another thing that will help with gradually progressing with this is just getting your cartwheels down. If you're not comfortable with your cartwheel motion, we want to get that comfortable as well. And we can also make our car wheels a little bit angled so it mimics the butterfly kick a little bit. So you have the safety with your hands, but you're still working on that butterfly. Here, down, down. And that's just very basic. Once you get comfortable with that, you want to immediately start working on that butterfly kick technique. 
Another gradual progression step is just taking it, um, taking the technique, practicing the technique, but not going full out on the jump. Take it very gradual with this, so that way you can develop the strength, the flexibility, and also get comfortable with this move gradually. So we start off in that technique, we dip down, we lift up, and just at first, don't even jump really. Just lift the leg, land, and go here. Then as you're going, start to lift up a little bit and try to really get both legs in the air, you know, just for a little bit before you land. So here, up, up. It's not perfect, the legs are low, but as you get better, as you feel more comfortable, you're gonna start lifting the legs up to meet where your upper body is. more, work on that landing, then until you get all the way. So that is how you do the butterfly kick. Now to do this properly, it's really important that we develop flexibility, the strength. Um, we also, you know, train on this properly because for these fundamental basic moves, you want to get these down very well. So you want to be able to land very controlled um, before you move on to the next moves. Uh, things like the D-twist. Once we get this butterfly kick down, we're going to be able to go into aerials. We're going to be able to go into a butterfly twist and different moves like that very easily because we built that foundation of generating the jump and then also the technique. So that's why we focus and train a lot on these fundamental moves. So if you're interested in learning stuff like the B-twist, um, getting the exercises and the training to help develop that basic foundation of strength for moves like this, then I want you to check out the link below in the description. This is a link to our parkour academy where we have extras. So like in this video, I showed the technique. But in the academy, we'll go down even further, give you drills. We also break down exercises to target the specific things for the B-kick and the B-twist. And then we also learn more advanced moves like the B-Twist and the Websters and things like this. So if you want more training on that, click in the link description and check that out. And as always, train safe. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Leave a comment below. Tell us uh, more tutorials you want to learn or what you thought of this tutorial. And make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And I'll see you in the next video.